my children. I offer you the opportunity to reclaim your past lives. Join me here on my island of Waki Waki. Compete in my tournament, the Battle Bowl. Win and receive the secret recipe. And thus, your truest desires. A game being released by someone in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, first time we're Hell doing yeah. America for Indie Intel. That's right, Brett. So, Josh, what are we talking about? We're going to be talking about Serial Killers, which is a with 2D a fighting game with Z. Uh, my face is also <laughs> just getting absolutely blown out again. Um, That's all right. It's a 2D fighting game. Uh, it was on Indiegogo, but as of the recording of this, it has been taken down. Now, let me explain why. So, what is Serial Killers? As I said, it's a 2D fighting game, but the, mm -hmm. the draw, Josh, is that all of the characters are serial mascots. So, yes. Tony the Tiger, you know, Lucky mm -hmm. from Lucky Charms, uh, you know, Count Chocula. So, mm -hmm. all of these unique characters that we've grown to love from advertising as kids uh, with this really awesome, almost anime art style. Mm-hmm. All of them coming together for this fighting game tournament, right? Um, the game was on Indiegogo, as I said, until a private funder stepped in and said, I'm going to fund the whole fucking thing. And he funded for this demo to be built. And all of the backers of the game are going that were already backing it will be getting um, the build of the demo, the beta, and become beta testers. But... Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, there's no way to directly back this pro project, but you can follow mm -hmm. them on social media. You could follow them on, you know, um, Indiegogo. You can still follow the campaign uh, and you'll be able to see, you know, the updates of the game. I actually follow the artist. His name is either Michael or Mikhail Dingle. Yeah. Yeah. And I follow him or his artist um, on Instagram. And I've been following him for quite a while as he's been developing these characters, specifically mm -hmm. the Tony the Tiger and the Lucky. Mm -hmm. And when he launched this Indiegogo campaign, I didn't even know that it launched and it's already over because someone was like, this is a great idea. I'm going to fund it. So if you go on their Indiegogo page, you can actually see all of the character designs, Josh. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. So some of them that like are like really cool in, in my eyes are um, the Cocoa Puffs bird is like mm -hmm. in an insane asylum outfit <laughs> because he's crazy. Yeah. Um. Frankenstein from um, Frankenberry. Frankenberries, yep. He looks fucking badass. Uh, I like the Snap Crackle Pop for Rice Krispies. I think that says snap in your neck, crack your back, and pop a cap. <laughs> <laughs> so, like these. Oh my god, the fucking rabbit dude for tricks. Yeah, he just looks fucking slick. He's yo yo's on uh, his hands. Yeah, um, this is cool, man. This is like right up our alley and. It's silly. It's awesome. It's really yeah. silly. Even like the so, for example, the health bars in the in the game are like spoons. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the arenas mm -hmm. that you're fighting in have like spoons and shit. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find the name of the artist. Because uh, if you a lead animator here, well, that's not the background artist, lead animator, programmer, project lead. Yes, I'm trying to figure out which one I follow, but regardless. Um, I've been following this for a while, and I'm glad to see it's finally picking up some steam. Uh, the gameplay trailer shows some cutscenes, too. And the cutscenes mm -hmm. are, like, super anime, dude. It looks, like, badass. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're huge fans of anime, so it's something that yes. is up our alley. I'm looking here. They have some stretch goals, but... Whoa. Again, it doesn't matter because... The their, writer, their writer um, worked on titles published by Ubisoft, Devolver Digital, and Choice Games. So this guy has worked in Yeah, he knows what he's doing. The realm before. And now is going indie, which is great. This is cool. Small team. Again, five people. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. Um, I really love the art style. I really love the concept of just these characters. Because listen, my biggest fear when I was watching this be developed through my Instagram was they're gonna get hit with a cease and desist by Mm -hmm. Every one of these companies, Kellogg's, um, mm -hmm. all of them. But it seems like they changed the design enough and they're being tongue in cheek enough that they're going to be OK. Yeah, I, th I think it's fine. 
like I'm pretty sure the the antagonist of the game, his name is Doctor K. Like his name is like Kellogg's or something. <laughs> like yeah. So they even gave backstory to some of the characters. So Tony the Tiger, his name is Terror T, and he was like a soldier in the Vietnam War that almost lost his life, and they used a DNA of a tiger to bring him back to life, and now he's coming to the island to fight for the secret recipe. It's fucking insane, right? It's cool. But it's really, yeah. it's really, really cool. So yeah. ho- hopefully you throw some examples of it up on the screen while we're talking. I will. I will. Show it off. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm really yeah. excited to see where this goes. Go give them a follow on Twitter and Instagram and all that. Yeah, Serial Killers, check it out. Thanks for checking out this video. Did you know it's part of a larger podcast called Hapticast? We put them out every single week, and you can check them out by clicking somewhere above my head.